I've been reminiscing recently about how Get Lucky by Daft Punk is 10 years old, um, and I've been kind of unearthing a lot of memories associated with it because it was playing off of somebody's phone almost nonstop at the worst summer camp I ever went to. Um, I used to be in Scouts, and most years we would just go to like an official Scout camp, and they were always like totally fine and a nice time. And then in 2013, maybe because it was cheaper, um, we tried going to an independently operated camp that I don't think was associated with the Boy Scouts in any way. Um, it was called Camp Guppy Gulch, and it was in it was in the woods somewhere. You know when you're a kid and like going anywhere is kind of like getting kidnapped in a Bourne movie where they just like throw you in a dark van and then you're somewhere else and you have no guess as to where it might be. So I think it was in like Western Pennsylvania or in Maryland. Um, and it was operated by just like some guy uh, who seemed fairly hassled the entire time. And in my adult life, as I reflect on this, I think maybe he was running some kind of scam that we fell for. Um, Cause like all the elements of a summer camp were there. It was billed as a place where you could go to like get scuba certified and do snorkeling and stuff because it was an old quarry that had flooded. Um, and the water was like dyed bright blue with some of those mini golf chemicals you can buy, which I don't think are recommended for water that you're going to be like putting your body in. Um, there was like one of those big inflatable blobs. There was, I think there was a zip line. There was a big cabin, um, that we thought we would be staying in, but the cabin was locked with a big padlock and the dude who was ostensibly operating the camp did not seem to be able to unlock it for us. So we just slept in sleeping bags on the deck attached to the cabin right by the water. Um... So it was like my little troop of guys and then this other troop of guys from New Jersey, including this kid, Doug, uh, who they got there like the morning before us. So we showed up in the afternoon and they were like, you know, chucking some cornhole and Doug introduced himself to us. And then he said, by the way, I play lacrosse and I've had two concussions this year and I'm supposed to be wearing a helmet, um, but I didn't want you guys to meet me for the first time wearing a helmet. So please just don't uh, hit me with anything or push me over because it could be bad. Um, 48 hours after we met Doug, uh, he got in an argument over whether regular or Cool Ranch Doritos are superior with another guy in his troop. And the climax of the argument was that they pushed each other off of the picnic table they were standing up and there was a second where we all thought that Doug was dead for sure um but he was okay um a big clue that I think maybe this summer camp was a scam is that on like day three or four at 10 30 in the morning a school bus pulled up to the front gate and it was full of like little kids from the local YMCA swim class who I guess were there to do some lessons outside uh, and the guy operating the summer camp, who seemed kind of panicked that maybe he had, like, fucked up and double booked or something, uh, loaded all of us 15-year-olds into a Sprinter van and drove us into town, and he left us in the basement of a local pizza place, um, and he bought us a couple pizzas, and then also in that basement was, like, a Lenovo ThinkPad that was hooked up to a flat screen on the wall, and I don't know, it was his or it was like the owners of the restaurant or something. Um, and we watched on the basement flat screen a insane pirated double feature of uh, Olympus Has Fallen and then Disney's The Lone Ranger. And then the laptop died. Um, and we were still there until like 4.30 p.m. Uh, I remember when the dude came back to pick us up in the van, me and another guy had fashioned a deck of cards out of a stack of napkins to have something to do because we didn't know if we were ever getting out of the pizza place basement um so we did a lot of swimming and stuff the camp guy had appointed to be lifeguards like some of his like dirtbag nephews who who i want to be clear like a bunch of guys who topped out at maybe eight months older than the rest of us and they 
must have been getting paid something, but they were not interested in putting in the work for a minute. The whole time that we were, like, snorkeling and, like, jumping into this, like, quarry full of old rocks and equipment and shit, I did not see them watching us for a second. Most of what I saw them doing was uh, shooting each other with a foam Nerf football out of a t-shirt cannon that they had procured somehow, um, and allegedly... Uh, trying to get high by huffing the carbon dioxide cartridges that powered the t-shirt cannon, which I didn't see firsthand, uh, but is so funny to think about that I'm choosing to believe that it's true. Um, God, and then, like, the day after the pizza place thing, they busted out an inflatable screen, and we watched yet another likely torrented copy of uh the battleship movie with rihanna in it i don't know why illegally downloaded films were such a big part of my guppy gulch summer camp experience um the the last full day that we were there um we got breakfast from the local pizza place that was a uh breakfast pizza which was just like a blank pizza crust and then it had gravy and pork sausage on it um, and the dude also picked us up from, like, the corner mart a couple gallons of milk and orange juice to go with it, with the pizza. Uh, and nobody, like, put anything away because we, you know, there weren't a lot of trash cans around. We were like, somebody will take care of it. Um, and we went right from breakfast to uh, launching each other off the blob. Um, and then later that night, one of the shitty lifeguard guys busted out... Um, what at the time was like the most extreme harsh hot sauce that you could buy like he ordered it online or something on a dare and my friend agreed to have like a little toothpick of it um and he went like eh, and had a little toothpick of the hot sauce and with, i declined the hot sauce but he was suffering so badly that he was like looking around for options and he ran over to the pavilion where we'd eaten breakfast and he picked up the the gallon jug of whole milk that had been sitting uh, outside for two thirds of a June day in Pennsylvania or Maryland. <laughs> and so he basically, uh, like grabbed it with great urgency threw the cap aside and then took a big swig of, I assume pure fermented whey, and then, uh, immediately threw up into the neon blue quarry water. Um, I never heard anything from those guys again, but I, I was doing this gag on camping trips at the time where for some reason everywhere we ever went camping there were like a bunch of loose bricks on the ground in the woods and stuff. And so I started doing this bit every year when we would go to real summer camp where I would carry a brick around and I would approach people as if I was a fan of them and I would ask them to autograph my brick because it was 2013 and that was funny. Um, but then when I got home like I would put it on I would put it on top of my bookshelf. And I, uh, because it was like a nice memento of all the people I had met at summer camp. And so somewhere I have a brick signed in Sharpie by all of the um, kids who were uh, present at Camp Guppy Gulch in 2013. And I, I guess it's in my parents' attic somewhere, just gradually decreasing the time until the uh, attic floor collapses. So... Get Lucky by Daft Punk, great song. Um, check it out, happy anniversary.